This week, it's a spicy meatball. We open up a whole can of worms with 16th note beat displacement. Really, it's pretty simple. Let's do this. Let's get into this. Let me uh, allow me to be a little redundant here, okay? What we're going to do is we're still going to take an eighth note ride pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that ahead by one sixteenth, okay? So now the ride pattern will be on the E's and A's of the beat, which are still an eighth note apart from each other. But instead of playing one and two and, which are eighth notes, now we'll play one E and A uh, to E, A, uh, all right, which are still an eighth note apart. So that eighth note ride pattern helps create the illusion, all right, or the movement of this idea, all right. I'm still going to use the Gary Chapey template that we've been using, so bass drums on the one side and the bass drums on the two side, and then I will combine them, all right. And that's really about it. I'm going to step quarter notes in the hi-hat in the original time, all right? And I'll move the hands ahead and my right foot ahead by that 16th note. That's about all there is to it. Let's do it. Okay, here we go at 80 beats a minute. Counting with the hi-hat first. One, two, one, two. Now I'll superimpose the ride cymbal pattern over top on sixteenths. One, two. E, a, e, a, e, a, e, a. Now I will put the snare drum on the E of two. E, a, e, a, e, a, e. dropping the bass drums in. Okay, that's the one side. Now I'm going to do the two side. Uh, I noticed I pulled away a little bit at one point on the hi-hat. These are tough. A tremendous challenge, so work on this stuff. Two side, 80 beats a minute. One, two.
Okay, so that was a two side. Now I'm going to combine beats one and two, put them both together. I'll play beat one on the one side with the, in the bass drum, and then I'll superimpose the two side over top of that. Add 80 beats a minute. One, two. E, ah, e, ah. Snare drum. Bass drum. Okay, so that's the one and two side. Now I'm going to bring this up to 110 and just kind of give you some real life examples of how to play this against eighth note time. All right? One, two. So there it is for this week. A short one, but there's a lot to unpack. Take your time with this. Even though this is a short video, there's a lot to working this process out. Take you, you know, probably a week just to sit with it and work with it and start to hear it against the click. Next week, we go into the foundation of full-blown rhythmic illusion. And uh, it's going to be great. There is, once again, a lot to work with there. All right? You guys stay well. Uh, if you haven't checked out Unsung, my newest initiative, check that out. It's on Facebook and YouTube. And like I said, it's just a way to give back to the great people, masters of this city that have done some uh, great work. And there's a lot of them out there. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.